If you ask a lot of the people that come to Vietnam, what is their favorite thing? Most of them would say the food. And I would agree. But something that I don't hear that people talk about a lot is the desserts. And today, here in District 10, I'm going to show you and take you to one of the cheapest desserts I have ever had. And the convenient part is that the little spot where we're gonna get this dessert is just around the corner, less than a 30 second walk. So how long have you been going to this place, Kelly? I've been going to this place for about 20 years. Wow. Since I was about seven or eight. And I am now 24. Available. I want some kambua and a flan. Okay. So this place is called Kem Trai Dua. Kem Trai Yu. Kem Trai Yu. Damn, I'm an expert. And the crazy part about this are the prices, man. All of them, they start actually. There's something on the menu that's six thousand. I'm not sure what that is. But the most expensive thing is only 25,000 K. When I was young, the plan was only 5K. After more, after almost 20 years, the plan is now 15K. So as you guys can see, Saigon is popping again. Mostly everything's open. The bars are open. The cafes are open. There's dine-in, but the only thing that still stays the same is that everyone has to wear a mask regardless. Yesterday we were at some food markets and actually the police stopped me and they told me to wear a mask. Even though I was eating something and I had my mask right here, they were still very cautious with the people making sure everyone was wearing a mask. The flans comes with a chocolate sauce. It used to be coffee in the, in the past, but I think they realized that they should not be feeding children caffeine. So they switch it to a chocolate sauce and some shaved ice. And this is the coconut ice cream that comes in a coconut, literally. It's like this big coconut, they put ice cream in it, and then they freeze the whole shebang. And then they cut it. To eat this, you have to make sure that you have everything. I like to eat it with a lot of ice. I'm not dressed for this. <laughs> it's very soft. It's like silky smooth and soft. Contrast with the crunchy shaved eyes. And the chocolate sauce balances the sweetness of the flan. Okay, now let me give you guys my opinion. So first of all, let me tell you some prices. The flan was 15,000 and the coconut ice cream was 20,000. Personally, my favorite is this one. It's a coconut, it's ice cream wrapped in coconut actually. Um, it has chocolate, I think this one is mint. No. Oh, that's avocado? It's pandan. Pandan? Pandan, pandan, pandan. Oh, what flavor is that? Pandan is a leaf in Vietnam. Oh, there you go. It's some type of leaf ice cream. I'll put it on the screen because obviously I don't know. And then this other type of ice cream which is vanilla. Coconut. Oh, coconut. Okay. Um, but no, dude, it's delicious. Let me show you. So as you guys can see here, this is the coconut on the top and the ice cream is inside. Oh. So nice. Okay, let me show you guys the slam. Bam. Oh. It doesn't have a coffee taste though. Slightly. Mm. It used to be coffee in the past. Very good though. Mmm. We literally come here maybe like three times a week. Because it's so good, it's so affordable, and it's so refreshing. And we eat two things every time. Yeah, and we always get the same thing. Maybe we should try something else. I want to try what they have. Also, what I really like about Vietnam 
is how no matter where you go, even if it's dessert, they always give you a little bit of tea. It's like, here, have some free tea. Mm. I think for 20 years, I've only had four dishes in this menu. Really? I've never tried anything else. Okay. Maybe you should try something else, Kali. I don't want to. I'm a person of habit. If I like something, I'll stay with it for 20 years. And as you guys can see, the shop itself, it's a house. It's cool how in Vietnam, like, the people live in the restaurant that they work in or the shop that they work in. And so they're always chilling and whenever someone comes in as a customer. I would come in when they're having family dinner. Really? I'd be like, I'm very sorry, but I would like some plants. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. What I'm curious to know is how healthy is this? Because you're just having coconut and then the ice cream is made out of some plant that Kelly said. And you know sometimes when you have too much ice cream and like your stomach hurts from having so much dairy? I don't really get that from this. So personally I think it is some type of healthier form of dessert. At least I hope so. as usual having her second plate of lamb. This is my fourth lamb this week. And it's only Monday. Kelly, you know, how, how unhealthy is a flan? A flan is not unhealthy. If you only have a moderate amount of flans per week, don't go eating five flans every day. Maybe not even four in a week like me. Maybe once in some 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 day. Once in a while, it's okay. Okay guys, we're gonna go with the cocktail right here. 20,000. No clue what it is, but it looks like it's a mix of everything that they have on the menu. Inside a little jar or glass. And uh, maybe that's why it's called the cocktail. Let's find out. Also, if you guys are wondering what camera am I using right now? Because I look a little bit different, right? I'm using the DJI Action 2. That's right, people. I got it. And if you guys are into videography or filming, this camera is, it has changed the game. Let me tell you. Um, I've owned GoPros in the past, but for some reason I just, I'm not too happy with the quality of the camera. Um, also the audio sometimes is not there. And it just, it doesn't look as good. But man, this camera is perfect when it comes to vlogging or taking it anywhere, especially because it's so small and discreet. Um, it's really cool and I'm, and also as you guys know I do FPV so I get to put this camera on my FPV drone and I've been able to get some awesome shots. Alright guys here is the cocktail. It looks like a cocktail for sure. Now the question is what is inside? So it, it definitely looks like a summer drink. I thought it was going to be kind of like a sundae but not at all it's just a, it's a drink. Let's mix it together, see what's the deal. I know here, this right here, is a piece of coconut. Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. Ooh, boy! Mm. Damn, that exploded in my mouth. That was so nice. Mm. Wow, okay. It tastes kind of like fruit punch. Um, but the question is, what is in here? I think, I think it's that peach tea that they sell everywhere here in Vietnam, mixed with a lot of other stuff. Um, but it does that has that that fruit punch flavor. I know in here we got some lychees. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I think there's also pineapple in there. Wow. Okay. Look, guys, this is a very sugary full of stuff kind of drink but very refreshing like if I had to rate this I'd give this a 9 nah like an 8.5 8.5 now if I had to rate the plan I would say 8.5 it's good but it's not like crazy good it's 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 a nice treat according to you according to me we'll get Kelly's opinion in a second now the ice cream with the coconut that shit is a 9 dude I love it it's my favorite for sure. 
What about you, Kelly? What do you rate the plan? The plan... The plan is a nine. Because it has sentimental value. Mm. On top of... You grew up with the plan. I grew up eating the plan. And the... And the coconut ice cream. This place is so important to me. Incredible guys, we got three flans, the coconut ice cream, and that cocktail with two teas for 85,000 dong. What a bargain. And, oh dude, I'm so full. That felt like a full meal. Oh, what a treat guys. You see, this is what I love about Vietnam. It's so nice. Let's go outside in the nice breezy weather, get some flan, get some ice cream on us what's day today today is monday on a monday night anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that um this was kind of like a rough cut kind of video not much editing as you guys know some videos i put a lot of production time into them this one is more chilled out more relaxed you guys can get to know more about me kelly and uh, the normal life that we have nobody cares about me yeah nobody cares about you you think so kelly She's always just so negative, guys. I'm currently editing another video of Eating with Chris. This one is a good one. I should have it uploaded either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Christian Rodriguez, bye.